exactly 34 years ago today, the charismatic Pan-Africanist and Burkina Faso's then president, Thomas Sankara, was shot dead aged 37 by soldiers during a coup on 15 October 1987. Four years before his assassination with 12 others, Sankara and his close friend, Blaise Compere, staged a coup that brought them to power. It was under his rule that the country was renamed from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, meaning land of upright people. Sankara himself led an austere lifestyle. He reduced his own salary and that of all public servants in the country. He also banned the use of government chauffeurs and first-class airline tickets just to cut waste in government. During his stay in power, he made education a key priority. The literacy rate increased from 13% in 1983 to 73% in 1987. He also oversaw a massive national vaccination campaign. To boost the economy, he redistributed land from local chiefs and gave it directly to poor farmers, which led to a huge increase in cotton production. However, he was not popular to Western nations because he adopted an anti-imperialist foreign policy, which challenged the dominance of France, which continues to retain huge influence in many of its former colonies in Africa. In his honor, an imposing six meter high bronze statue now stands at Thomas Sankara Memorial Park in the capital, Oagudogu. It was unveiled in 2019 and then reworked last year following complaints about the first version. 10 years after his assassination, his widow, Miriam Sankara, filed a criminal complaint in 1997 over the murder of her husband, but it took 15 years for the Supreme Court to rule that the investigation could continue. However, little progress was made until Mr. Campore was overthrown in 2014. The following year, remains believed to be his were exhumed, but DNA analysis was unable to confirm they were his. In 2016, the Burkina Faso authorities officially requested France to release military documents about Sankara's assassination. Those archives were declassified and transmitted to Burkina Faso in three stages. The final one was received in April 2021. However, little progress was made until Mr. Campori was overthrown in 2014. 14 men including his former friend and ex-president, Blaise Compore, are now on trial, accused of complicity in the murder of the man many called Africa's Che Guevara.